Hi everyone, welcome to Diamond Paintings with Mike. It's Sunday and that can only mean one thing. It is the best time of the week because it's time for Bim Naruto. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go. Such a brilliant song. <laughs> Having difficulties with my pen picking up. I wanna love you every day. I wanna love you every day. Thank you very much, Bim. Bye bye. So yeah, Sunday morning, love you there. I'm just gonna power down my new speaker. <coughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, um, it is Sunday. It is the best day of the week. Well, it's not actually, but uh, <laughs> my um, my favourite day of the week is Monday. So today. I committed myself and uh, prom uh, promised myself that I would have a lion. So last night I didn't set any alarms and I was like, I'm having a lion. And I got up at, I briefly woke up at nine and then I went back to sleep until like 11 o'clock and then, yeah, was proper nice and then jumped out of the shower and tried to get as many emails down as I could. You know, my daily routine. That's what I tend to do every day. Because um, at the moment, I suspect we'll be doing this painting for, I reckon, over, I reckon the next week or so this will be done. So I'm really excited to uh, move on. I'm gonna be trying to find my drills to kit up for the Easter theme, because I've got quite a lot of Easter ones to get through. Whether they'll all make it on this year, I really, really don't know. But yeah, I can't wait to to uh, do that, so you never never do. But yeah. But apart from that, I th I was watching The Crown last night, so uh, it's just like 10 episodes in one season, so it's a really, really long um, series. So yeah, it's been really, really lovely. And then obviously my favourite day of the week is tomorrow being Monday. Um, I, I always remember it in Garfield. If you've ever watched Garfield the movie, you'll hear him go, I hate Monday mornings. Um, but Bill Murray voices him. But I actually, I find it fun. You know, it's, it's the start of the week. You get, um, everyone's back into work. Everyone's, you know, emailing and stuff and yeah it's you know you can get on with things and i've got to get my blood test tomorrow so i'll have to put a, a request through anima oh crumbs oh no 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 no! hang on a minute i'm getting sidetracked here let me just take that off but yeah i'm um i need to get my blood test for the cholesterol i'm hoping that they'll come back and say right your cholesterol's free which means i can eat more cakes <laughs> I'm well known for eating cakes. I love my cakes. Um, I have to have cake nearly every day. It's just become a regular thing. Um, 
and then obviously you've got all the yeast decades coming out. However, on the other hand, if they do say that it's too high or, you know, I, I will have to cut down. So, apologies guys, uh, my pen is being a bit of a pain today. I put wax up it, but it just don't seem to pick it up. But it's lovely because we've got a gorgeous uh, sunny day today and when you open, when you look out the window and see a nice sunny day, it just reminds you that spring is on its way and closer to summer. Um, when it's Easter, what I tend to do is I tend to buy daffodils and just put them in my, um, I've got like a little vase, vase thing. So in here, I bought this from, I can't remember what the shop was, but it's a shop in Braintree, it's like a furniture place, and it's like a little jar. Um, so I put the flowers in there which I think looks really nice and it, daffodils I like the yellow I like the yellow ones and it just makes it brighten up your day if it's a rainy day then it'll brighten it up but um I quite like the white ones you know the white ones that have got the white leaves around the edge and then you've got that orange in the middle I quite like them but they're really cheap as well you can get them for like a pound um from Tesco or stuff so yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting some of them. I do love my daffodils. I love my flowers. I have an orchid and it's come back every year so far. So I'm hoping in Easter um, it will come back because I bought it blue and then obviously that, that's just the dye color. So when it comes back, it comes back in a natural white. And unfortunately I've only, I've been very fortunate in the fact that it's come back every year, but I've only ever had the one flower so i just hope and pray that we could get a little bit more flowers this year so yeah it's uh it's really really lovely actually so yeah but yeah typically on sundays i spend my days on if i've done all the housework for that day i will do my um i will do my uh try to get as many videos done as possible but after this I'm going to have a piece of fish with some salad uh, and then I've got fish again this this evening so I want to have a bit more because I wanted to have it for dinner but I I've, um, don't really fancy going to the shops and over here shops close at seven and uh, sorry shops close at four but we do have a Tesco that's open till 11 o'clock even on Sundays which is the one in Coggleshaw Road so um yeah. But yeah, it's going to be very boring on TV today, being Sunday, because there's nothing on. <laughs> so. But yeah, it's nice to be back to normal programming, because... Uh, I've had a week spending off doing the uh, crewing and stuff, so. Yep. Yeah. So as you can see, we're just coming up to the first of the square done. As I said, we are got colors straight at the moment, so I will be going back over that at the end, and that'll be that done, lovely. Okay, so that's that one done. Now, because I want to keep, obviously we need to keep the air and dust off that, so I will just use that. It might not cover it very well, but as you can see, it doesn't stick it very well on here, but I'll, uh, it's just to cover it really. It won't stick as much because this is like all non, like drills on it, but because there's drills on it, it makes it a little bit difficult to get that to stick. But what we'll do is we'll move this along now we are inches away, like, I mean, look, we've only got to go down to there, and then it's done, where that tray is, but, yes, very, very exciting, because we're going to get this finished very, very soon, hopefully, so, uh, I hope we've got enough A's, they're the only ones we've got, um, but yeah, it's, uh, I know it's only a painting, but it's, it does make it a bit emotional when you're coming to the end of Paint. I'm just going to use a C. What have we got here? C uh, C six. This one. 
me get, I think there's a little bit to be on the big side. Let me get a C5. This is why I don't really use tweezers because they're, they're not very good to pick up with. So just trying to shift that colour because I've got a colour stuck here for some reason. So we won't take it up too much, but oh, do you know what? Because this is such a weird shape, I'm going to take it up to where the end of the cover minder is. Sorry, the release paper even. I haven't used my ice cream one yet. I need to use that. Yeah, we'll take it up a bit further because it's such a weird shape. Did you know rice and pasta makes you really hungry? I don't know why, but for some reason it's like an insulin spike. So it just really makes you hungry. And I was lying in my bed last night feeling really hungry, but I knew that I had my spaghetti bolognese and I ate it. It was quite a large meal because I'm a big eater. But I still felt hungry and I'm like, I'm not eating nothing else. You know, I've had my dinner now, so. But if it always, for some reason it always makes you feel like you need to eat something else, you know. This is the nerve wracking bit because when you get to a section where you've got quite a few drills left, you're sort of wondering, right, have we got enough? Because what happens is, I don't know how Amazon ones work, but with ones like DAC, you get the guarantee of missing drills. But the problem is with Amazon ones, I don't know whether you have to return it or whether you get in contact with the seller and say, look, this is what it is, um, you know, and whether they provide any, I don't know. But yeah. But it's been a really enjoyable one to do and uh yeah, I've really quite in really quite you know enjoyed doing it. Now next week is gonna be a funny one because next week is the start of the um the tiger. Now that's really, really late going up, so I'm debating whether I should do like eight for the last two weeks of Feb or continue it right the way through. I might just continue it right the way through because I definitely want to do it this year because it's been, it got took off air last year. So um, what I mean by that is I've done the unboxing, but then, but remember this was on the old channel. So before I decided to develop a channel just dedicated to diamond painting so I really would like to do that this year because it's otherwise it's another year wait and it would have been like shelved for two years so yeah I'd like to do that I don't know if we're going to make it look, we're running out. I'm not too sure about this. Hello, ding dong, carry on. <laughs> there used to be a program in, um, you know, in, uh, there used to be a program, carry on film, and it used to go ding dong, carry on. 
I had like a little key ring thing before once and it used to have like buttons and you had phrases like one would press like ding dong the next one would be all oh, stop it you know and uh, yeah very very good man very very good very very good very very good <laughs> But now seeing the paintings sort of like really coming to the end now, I will um, slow it down a bit. That's why I'm single placing. But yes, we're approaching Pancake Day. Let me know because obviously other countries are different. But if you do live abroad like Enza, who's in Canada, um, you've got Diamonds, uh, no, All Fired Up, which is America, I believe. If you do um, live in another country, please tell me, do you have Pancake Day on the same day as the UK? Because we have Pancake Day on the 21st of February, but it can change every year. So, yes, normally all the shops go manic, but I do, I do really, I'm looking forward to Pancake Day. <laughs> So it looks like this is coming down and then that's the reflection of the swans in the water. I've got another painting that I got from the works like that. So that looks really cool. sad to see this painting go really I've really had quite a blast on it it's been really enjoyable to do really thoroughly enjoyed this one so yeah I'm looking forward to um, you know doing all the filling in as well with the missing colours and that uh, soon as well so but also what I'm going to be doing is I've decided that if it's a themed month with the exception of Christmas I won't do Christmas ones um, if it's not Christmas because I like to do a bit, bit of Christmas ones before that um, you know during Christmas which I'm probably not making any sense but <laughs> um, I've decided like themed ones, if they're not finished by the end of the month, I'll just continue them until they're done. Because otherwise it means waiting like another whole year before it's finished. But yeah. Now diamond paintings on a budget, I will check out your channel because I've not got around to checking it out yet. Generally what I'll do is when I'm when I'm introduced to a new channel, I'll sit there and I'll watch one of your videos and then I'll say, and then I'll think to myself, is the content creator um, a diamond painter, you know, and um, 10 times out of 10 I'll sub to it, but I have to enjoy your content to be able to sub to it. Um, so yeah, you'll know if I don't like your content because I won't sub to it. <laughs> I mean, we can't like everyone, that's for sure. Um, but yeah. But this will, I think this will be the, like the second completion because I think we've got a small patch on Cody the Leopard. But what's lovely about this painting is the fact that this is the last painting that's going to be named um, because I'm, I'm literally running out of names. So I'm not going to be doing that anymore. Um, so yeah. 
I'm sure I made a cup of tea, yeah. Look, I put the bloody tea bag in it and forgot to put the bloody water in it. Oh, oh heck. There we go. You can't not diamond paint without a nice cup up. <laughs> Molly's a little rascal sometimes because I'm making chicken like chicken sandwich. Once I came in from the co-op, I'm not joking, I came in and I put my sandwich on top of my storage box, which makes a great sort of coffee table at the same time. And I put it there because I knew Molly, you know, was outside in the garden. Came back, made me tea and I was like, well, where's my sandwich gone? And I, I couldn't find Molly at the time, so she's took it into the front room and has set it. I couldn't believe it. That was so annoying because like, I paid 360 for that. Because it comes as a meal deal, you get that. Um, I normally get chicken and bacon sandwich, and then, then it comes with a, you know, a drink and then a packet of crisps. Greg's is a rip off because you don't get crisps or you get a drink with it, but you don't get crisps, which I think is a bit of a con because if you want to have crisps, you've then got to pay out more, which is disgusting in my opinion because they're like ninety p a bag. Um, same thing, I don't know about Tesco, to be fair with you, I don't really like Tesco's meal deals. If I get a meal deal, it's got to be from um, the co-op, because they do the best ones. But they also do another meal deal, um, every, I think it's every two weeks, on a Tuesday, you get thing, uh, five things for six quid. It used to be five things for five pound, but... Because of our country in a disaster at the moment, um, everything's just extortionate. And uh, yeah, so you get different things. It could be like a pizza, a bag of veg, a bag of something else, and something else, and then you get a dessert. So yeah, the best one is the two pizzas and the um, you forget Coke or beer. So that's really good. But this is the thing, this is what I find a bit discombobulating is because they're saying that we're getting, uh, every household is supposed to be getting £67 knocked off their gas bill. So if you're a direct debit customer, you'll get that back as a rebate, so you get a refund back to your bank. Um, but if you're not a direct debit customer, then they'll take it off your bill, which I think is better. Um, and they're saying that, oh, you don't have to pay it back. Okay, so why is the food costs getting increased? Do you see what I mean? So that, well, technically you are paying it back because you're increasing food costs in order to get that back. So it's all a bit of a, it's all a bit of bullshit, really, if you ask me. Um, you know, you don't just put it up for, because they're saying, oh, it's the cost of living trying to get, you know, it's costing more to make it. Of course it is, because the government are saying that you don't pay it back when technically you are, because you're increasing the food costs to claw it back. So, just see what I mean. This country is so messed up. The debt of this country, I don't know how they're going to resolve that. Because I believe when Liz Trust was in charge, they wanted, she wanted to borrow some more money, or the Chancellor, I think it was, uh, Kwasi Kwarteng wanted to buy more money and I think the governor of the Bank of England said no. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just ridiculous. I've never known a country to be in such a good state. And then you look at America and, yeah, I was watching Sunny Stormy, um, Julie's channel, and... Um, their bottles are really interesting because they, with their bottles of stuff that they get, could be, you know, milk or whatever, they're really fat bottles. But in the UK, we get different shaped bottles. Like, for example, for you guys across the pond, you may not know this, but our bottles come like this. Our bottles come like this. So it comes in like a rectangle shape. So as you can see with the handle and that. But everyone is so confused because the lids were all used to be green. 
but now they're saying that they're not easy to recycle even though they've been out for years they've only just decided that that's the case and when I put it on I'm thinking well where's the lid gone so it's very confusing to say the least <laughs> The jar of dirt's filling up, as you can see, it's got the next lot of jewels in, so. I'd love it if, I'd love to see someone do like a video of separating all that lot from the jar. That would be, oh man. I've done it once, but with jewels that have got mixed up in different trays, and I've been there with tweezers separating them like that. And never again will I do that. I was like, yeah, I'm not doing this ever again. <laughs> But what I was thinking of doing is get like different jars and then pour all the different jewels in different jars, uh, just to spare some that. But because three tens come up an awful lot, um, so then I I'll just see if there's any spares in different kits rather than, you know, get them. Oh, I like that colour. They've done a lovely colour here. It's like a blue and mint green. Just turn the light off a minute. Can you see what I mean? So, look at that. That's really gorgeous. And it's going up with the contour of the swan as well and onto the leaves. That's lovely. Really like that. Oh my god, I nearly pressed the wrong button. I was going to press the recording in button. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was the charger. But it's nice because like all the trays are now sort of like coming to the ends. So it's really, it's a sign that this painting is sure uh, going to be done very soon. So yeah, I'm thinking tonight probably like a movie or something because... Uh, there's only so much YouTube you can catch up on until you get physically bored and mentally drained of watching the same thing. Um, but I pay for like Disney Plus and Netflix, so I have to make sure that I'm getting my money's worth because I have paid out once and I've not used it for the whole month and I'm thinking I've just given basically seven pound for nothing. You know? um, so. One night I'll watch like Netflix and then the next night I'll watch Disney Plus just to get my money's worth really. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a bit of my drink first touch, shall we? It's a little bit hot still. Have you ever drank a pair, has anyone ever drank tea but they've left the tea back in it and you're like, bloody hell this is strong. And then you get this massive lump like hit your mouth where you've left the tea back in it. <laughs> I don't like strong tea for me it's got to be milky so sort of like that sort of colour don't like strong tea oh it's B okay well I think that's my favourite colour in this because it matches my pen so that would have to be my favourite. Or oh, nearly. So if you can hear rumbling in the jungle there, that's just my boiler firing up. Every so often throughout the day, it will like uh, make a rumbling noise and then go off. But yeah.
very impressed with this. They didn't do it on that side. They've done a bit here, but I really like the con. I really like the color transformation on that. That's lovely. It's very very cool how they've done that. I really like that. Fabulous. Fabulous. La, 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 la. Yeah, another week over, isn't it? Surprising how quick time goes. It is, in a way, scary because it is in, it's just races by, you know, before you, and that's why I say when it's at Christmas, it feels like it's only, it was only like yesterday because it comes here so quick. I, th I think this year is going to be even worse for Christmas because obviously if we've got this cost of living crisis banging on if they don't sort this country out then christmas is cancelled <laughs> i mean I've, as i said it's it's terrible you know they're putting it up and i i feel sorry for my mum because she pays like a hundred pounds in council tax and i've said to her ask the council for a section 13a so a section 13a is where you ask the council for a form called a section 13a and what that means is you can ask i mean different countries have different laws but you can ask the council to reduce your council tax because you physically cannot afford it um you know she has two jobs and i just i just feel sorry for her you know all the hours that she puts in and she has to pay out you know, hundreds, pound, 400, let's put it this way. So say like you work two jobs, you could, I don't know if it's like a thousand one job and a thousand the other job. I don't know how, I don't know what her finances are, but I reckon it's over the thousand. And, um, you know, 400 of that has, has to be paid on her rent. She then has to pay a hundred pound on council tax. Then obviously TV licensing, which could be like £17. So that's almost like £620 already. And it's it's just, I have noticed when I'm visiting there that she's not buying much food. So I'm thinking to myself that maybe she needs, she's paying out too much. I mean, she could cut the dog insurance. We don't need dog insurance. You know, it's a bit of a con because all that does is pay for like, if she needs an, uh, an operation, it doesn't help with your food. Um, you know, the food for Molly. I mean, f f Molly's food is probably around about the £44 mark. And then obviously, if you've got consultation, you've got to pay for that. You never see a poor dentist or a poor fare. Um, but yes, she won't do it. But I do praise her, you know, she's so focused on paying her bills. And I'm like, with me, I I'll say it how it is. And if I haven't got the money, if I've got a dilemma, say like, I was down to, I don't know, for example, I was down to my last 20 quid and I had a bill to pay or I had food to get. I would look at that and I would prioritise it and say, right, well, food comes before the bill and some bills, they just won't wait. So if it's your mobile phone contract, they have a system where they can cut the SIM off until you've paid it or very similar to your internet or, you know, it could be like um, anything really. And I'm sorry, but if I've, if I need to eat, that's going to come before a bill, you know. If you if you if your body shuts down, that's it. You know, all your bills are completely gone. So, what what the what is important is you go from the, your priorities are your health. Everything health comes before anything. Then you go to the bills. It's very similar with friends and family. I prioritize my family over my friends. So it's family them friends um but i do know someone that prioritizes it really strangely 
he will prioritise it. He's like a Christian, so he will go God, family, then friends. Now, I think that's wrong because you should do family, then God, then friends. Because your family comes before, I don't know really, but I don't agree with that. But yeah, so, yeah, I just, I just don't know how she does it. I really don't. There's certainly no way I would pay them a hundred. Hell no. Um, I detest paying council tax with a vengeance. You know, you don't see all these footballers pay it. And again, that's, I hate footballers because, you know, they kick around a ball and get thousands and thousands of pounds just for kicking around a ball. And, you know, it's, it, it's, it's not fair. It really is not fair. I mean, I've had cases where people have, um, I've seen on Facebook, people are struggling. So this person's shown them a photo of a full fridge of food and this person has got nothing. I think it was on a documentary because Universal Credit do documentaries on TV of how people live and stuff. And I think I saw it on there. And yeah, I think that was very disrespectful and uh, out of order really because I'm, you know, one day that could happen to you. And then, you know, it's like all these people that laugh and say, oh, you, all, you know, all these people on benefits, they sit around doing nothing. Number one, you don't know if they've got a medical condition, which is stopping their capability of working. Number two, there are people out there that generally want to work, but we can't get the jobs because all these illegal immigrants that come over to this country are getting all the jobs. That is what's wrong. And I think that is why Rishi Sunak has put a stop to people going in it. Because it's like the pound shop. I applied for a job there once, and then I moved into obviously catering. And... They, were, they said, we can't employ you because we want people of our own kind. And I thought that was so wrong. And uh, that was really, really wrong. I mean, what the hell does that mean? But yeah, um, it's, it's just, a, it's one of the reasons why I want to emigrate to Australia. I'd love, love, love to go there. But I mean, America is brilliant for finances and stuff. But the UK is... It's just, I mean, we, we're the UK, we'll always get through it, but this country hasn't run right, in my opinion, since David Cameron left. You know, all Rishi Sunak seems to care about is helping Ukraine and Turkey. You know, I understand that Turkey's got a disaster, but, you know, if our country is in a crisis, why the hell are you spending, on, you know, funds helping them out when another country that could be more stabilised with funds can help them out. You know, we've got to wait, you know, and be, you know, suffer until, you know, just so, so that they can get their funds and that. But this is the thing as well, is that it's all back to fun. You know, all this, there's a talk about this £900 cost of living payment for people that are unemployed. Now, the difficulty you have with that is that Apparently, it's going to be means tested. So they're testing to see who is eligible for it and who is not. Again, they're making people wait till... I mean, people are saying it's March, then it's February, then it's April. I don't personally think they'll do it before the tax year. But then they're saying, oh, we've got to wait till, you know, uh, June or July. And, you know, you'd rather help people in another country than help the people that are suffering currently at the moment, I mean, I've seen people on the news where they've actually had to part ways with their pet and they've, actually, they've had to pull it into foster care or something because they literally cannot afford to f keep the dog running. Um, so they've handed over the care. I mean, if you want to hand over the care, you have to sign a document to say that it's now in the care of, you know, the PDSA or the RSPCA, the SPCA, which is, the, which is basically like the RSPCA, but it's the Scottish... Um, version but yeah i uh it just and the news as well it's just getting so boring all you get every single day is turkey ukraine turkey ukraine and i'm not being funny but it just it's like they're obsessed they can't physically mention it you know we know there's an earthquake going on but you don't need to tell us every day i just feel like we're not getting any of our news um it, it's just ridiculous Absolutely ridiculous. 
but then I'm thinking if I turn the news off, will I miss something that's important? But it's, you know, apparently 4,000 people have died or something. So I understand that, but you, you know, if I, I'm sorry, but I certainly wouldn't be giving money to their then countries, knowing for well that our country is in the crisis. It, it really does not make any logical sense. If we were in a better financial stability, then yeah, I could understand, and yeah. But apparently, I don't think any countries want to help, because I think the... One of the countries wants to get tanks or something, but they want to get fighter jets as well, but no one's agreeing to fighter jets or something. Um, but it's just, it's so boring. It really is boring. The same crap every night. Oh, it's Ukraine. It's, it's turning into the Ukraine and Turkey show. That's what it is. And then you think, oh, I'll watch, you know, the one o'clock news. It might be something different. But all that does is repeat what's on at 10 o'clock. So whatever's on at one o'clock, you might as well miss out because they repeat it again at 10 o'clock. So, oh, crap. Hang on a minute. Two, two, that's F, okay. Thought so, so that one will go down there then, okay. But yeah, it's it's a funny old world we live in, isn't it? Yeah, we're getting, uh, every line that we're doing, we're getting closer and closer to uh, <laughs> uh, getting it down on the uh, on the thing. I'm sitting here and I'm thinking there's probably thousands of us doing this right now, whipping chatting. <laughs> But February's could been a good month of really, you know, we've had George's birthday, we've had Valentine's Day. He bought this lovely rose um, and it's got a necklace in and you look for it and it's got a photograph, you know. But, yeah. But I think it shocked him as well because I, you know, we, we don't really talk very often. I don't know why we've been like it for years, but I, I wanted to really make an effort this year and I attended and then, you know, got him something. I didn't get him nothing too big because I know that he just gets slunk to the side. If you watch some of my previous videos, you'll hear me say that it just gets shoved to the side of the room. Um, he's got this thing where he won't open it. He, he just likes to keep it in packaging forever for some apparent reason. Um, but yeah, it's it's just nice to um, to uh, do it really. But yeah, it's starting to hit now that we're only <laughs> we are literally we've literally got that block left. It really is coming along lovely, and uh, I will miss doing this, but. On the other hand, I'm excited for the next painting, which uh, should be the tiger. That's going to be a lot of colour blocking. It's quite white as well. So, um, yeah. Obviously, as I said, um, Diamond Paints with TM has got a event going on at the moment. So, obviously, make sure that you get, um, if you want to enter that, get into it. She does. She needs the picture. If you're working on a pro, uh, if you're working on a painting, she does the progress videos every Wednesday. I think it's every Wednesday. If you're watching Tessa and I'm wrong, then just you know correct me on that. That's fine. Um, but yeah. I wanna love you every day. Sunday morning, love you. Monday morning, love you. I wanna love you every day. 
Baby, you are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's a small world after all. One of my friends said that I should, you know the unboxing I did of that massive landscape Christmas um, scene one? One of my friends, um, Diamond Paints with Pitta, uh, suggested that I do it in uh, summer. Because like, what it is, is we have our Christmas in the UK, we have our Christmas in the winter. But Australia celebrates it in the summer because their summer is our winter and our winter is their summer. I think that's right. Correct me if I'm wrong, Pitta. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's uh, quite nice really. It's a small world after all, but um, is there one like Lady Gaga? Ay, 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 monkey man. See, we've got to have the heart thing going on here because we've got this, I think, came from prison, and then we've got the heart wax, so we do really good. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, where were we? Beep, 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 beep. Bananas in pajamas are running down the stairs. There was a banana car on TikTok the other night. And um, does anyone watch that DJ Audits on TikTok? He's really good. He has a drone and he goes over like industrial states and that. Um, but for some reason, you can't comment on TikTok because he's turned them off. The comments are turned off. But basically, these guys come out to try to correct him, and he's right, you know, he's allowed to do what he can do. Because um, it has to be, I think the drone has to be under a certain specific, um, you know, grams. But they try and say, oh, you can't do this over here, it's not permitted, and he can. Um, but, uh, yeah, apparently, if you see him, if he comes, like, say, like, he comes to an industrial estate and he recognises it, and you recognise him, and you say, oh, I've seen you on YouTube, he get, he gives you a key ring. But I don't know where he films from, because I don't know. One of my YouTube friends, Jeff, he does, um, like, secrets of the railway and hidden stations and all that, but he actually came, apparently, the least used station in Essex is White Notley, and that's on the line that I go uh, to my relatives, because he goes, brain tree, brain tree, poor. Cressing White Notley written. Now there is another one called Black Notley, but there isn't a station to get to that. Um, and he was there filming one day, but this was quite a long time ago. But normally it's stuff around London. So yeah. And then there was talk about extending this railway to, because it did get shut, it terminates at Braintree, but a long time ago it used to go up to Stansted. And I think they said rain, but then there was talk about reopening that and they don't want to do it because it's too much money. So it would have been good because there is a there is a locomotive at rain station and I'm trying to find out how to get there from Braintree. Uh, the end of Braintree, apparently the route starts there. So where the terminus is for the Braintree train station, apparently that's where you go to get to it. So... I'm trying to find out how you get there because I'd love to go up there because apparently in the locomotive is like a like a calf or something. Oh look, we've got a fleck of uh, the purple. Sunny Stormy's favourite colour. Julie, if you're watching, this is your favourite colour. Remember you said you like purple and black. So this is your favourite. When I say Julie, by the way, um, it's... Because obviously sometimes I say Sunny Stormy and then I say Julie. That's her name. So her name is Julie. So if I say Julie, it's Sunny Stormy. Just to clear up any confusion. <laughs> Do you know the amount of people I know called bloody Julie? Julie, John. John's another good one. Misha. I've got five friends called Misha, one of which is a boy. I've got about 17 friends called Julie. I've got 20 people called John, you know. <laughs> I think.
pink jammies. Mike or, oh my God, I just said the word. I don't like Mike. It's Mike, not Michael. You call me Michael, I won't respond. Um, because my, the only one that calls me Michael is my mum and I tried to tell her Mike is a short version of Michael. But Hannah's name is called a Wagawam, or is it a Wagawam or Anagram? Because it goes back to front and you can spell it back to front and it still spells the word Hannah. So, yeah. I think we'll finish these last two lines. We've got plenty of time. Another road done and dusted, which means the last session of this, the next session, sorry, will be the last block. And then we're going to be doing some filler sessions. I'd like to do from the, t I think we'll do three sessions, the top and then the middle and then the last bit here. I don't know how we'll do that yet, but yeah, it's, uh, we're going to be finishing soon on this. Now, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys. Do you take your washi tape off? Do you cut the borders off? I know Liz Harrison cuts hers off. Um... But I like, she done this fabulous clock. It was like a bumblebee clock and she put some washi tape around it as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I don't know whether I should take this off. I think the washi tape goes really lovely with this painting. So I didn't have, what I tried to do is when I'm doing my paintings, I tried to get washi tape that matches that part of the painting that we're doing. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't know whether I'll do that. Um, I think I might keep it on and then obviously what I'll do is I want to seal them and then I'll frame them um, that's like I don't want to, I, I, I'm debating whether to frame them all and put them all the wall but then we're gonna have paintings everywhere um, so what I was thinking is getting like one frame of 30 to 40 and then one frame of like 30 to 30 and then just changing the picture each month I might do that Hello, it's me. Hello, it's me again. <laughs> but yeah, Van Home's come out with another thing now, isn't it? The Infinity Gauntlet. But no sign of bloody Robocop. We want Robocop. Bring out Robocop, Van Home. You told me you were doing it, so when's it coming? <laughs> They actually confirmed they've had a lot of, because I was talking to them about this, and they said that they had a lot of interest for it in the summer, but they're trying to make a decision. Well, it just seems like you've steered away from that because you've come out with the gauntlet now, which I believe it was to Yagostini. One of my friends, Chris Falcon, he does the Mega Sword from the, um, oh, what was it? Altair? But I've, I don't know what gives me this impression, but I'm sure the gauntlet was a trial with Eagle Moss. I'm not sure. Obviously, Eagle Moss went out of business. Um, terrible company. Um, they basically, oh my God, like, they owed mit, like probably £30,000 to Santander, which they defaulted. They were lying to their customers. Um, and then they came up with this thing of, oh, let's give you an accelerated pack. And what we actually mean is we'll take your money as a cash grab to try and rescue uh, and get the stuff out of the debt and at the warehouse. And obviously the warehouse was like, no, we're not going to do this. You know, you need to pay up or we're not sending them out, you know, which they're legally entitled to do. And I praise them for that. But they had this guy that was on Facebook and he was named, his name was Brett. And all he did was post about delays and updates and personally for me if i knew that a company was getting like problems day in day out i wouldn't keep posting about it because that is making customers not want to shop with you no more but yeah he was i've, I've never known a company to do that no other publisher does that so i think it was just to try and keep customers hooked and you know for the last things but it just goes to show that this that they did go bank, you know, not so much bankrupt, but they did go bust. Um, now, I've known Egomoss since 2004. I mean, my adventures with Egomoss started when I was very young, and my auntie got the Bird Collection. It was called the Classic Bird Collection. You can see it on Google or eBay. And that's my adventures into 
Deacon Moss. Now, obviously, I was quite young at the time, so I didn't have like I didn't have like email and bank accounts and stuff like that because I was probably what ten. So then I, you know, stuff sort of come out. There was a Willy Wonka collection, and you would pull this book out, and in each like slot of the tray would be a card. Um, you know, like very similar to Top Trumps, and then you would get like a little charm. But that, I cannot recall what publisher bring that out. I've tried high and low on eBay to try and get a picture to show you guys, but I have got the little charm. It's in the grandfather clock at my mum's house, so I'll try and remember to do that. Um, but yeah, I think that was a troll. I think the Hogwarts Express is long gone. Um, I'd like to see the Lancaster Bomber come out, but then I'm thinking, oh, we're gonna have the same problems as the Spitfire. So, I mean, companies learn by their mistakes, so I'd love for that to come out. I love the, um, on the base, they've got like a granite stone effect, so I would love to see that. That'd be amazing. Um, is that F or E? I don't know. Okay, so it's F, okie doke. So what I'll do guys is I'll finish this one here because I don't really want to start another block and then we've got to put the pen down, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. There we go, we are. Silence is golden. Oh, my boss used to always sing that. He got fed up and left us, um, left as well, I think. Okay guys, so this is where we are. We have done all down there, obviously up here, I'm just covering it because I don't want really to get dust or anything on that. And also the washi tape is to prevent dust and that going on it. Um, I've just seen a number two there, so I'll just fill that in. Where's my number two gone? That one up there, isn't it? Yeah, that one. Oh, that goes in there. So I can't see, yeah, okay, that looks good. And then obviously it's just a case of coming over here for this last square and yeah, what we'll do in the next session is I'd like to think we could spend a good hour and get this block here done. And then from there, the following sessions after that, we'll go back and colour in all these missing gaps um, once we find the colour in that. So yeah, that's what we'll do. We are edges away from the near now and uh, it's really, really lovely to work on. So. As I said, it's been a blast to work on this so far, but the end is in uh, the light, because at the end of the tunnel, as they say. Um, please remember to like, share, subscribe. If you want to get this painting for yourself, it is in the description. The washi tape comes from DAC, so I don't know what they do about that, whether they have an online shop for washi tape or not. I can't tell you what that's uh, what the link is for that, because I don't think they have an online shop. But if you want to get this, it is superb, and I'm really, really enjoying it very much. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you at 10 o'clock tomorrow. Bye, guys.